Today, I'm gonna answer one simple question, and that is, is this camera that came out in 2006 still relevant and usable in 2024? Let's find out. everyone, my name is Steve. I'm a photographer based in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and I've been doing photography for over 10 years now, and uh, I feel old saying that. I do weddings, I do portraits, and now I'm trying to dabble in a little bit of video. That's who I am, and uh, let's start the video. Okay, so the camera that I have with me is the Canon A710, and this is a very, very old digital camera, or a digicam. And I found this at a local thrift store for like six bucks. And I wasn't really like looking for anything serious, but I did a little bit of research while I was just seeing it on the shelf. And I found that this is actually a considered an advanced point and shoot. And this thing is not hard to find. Like you can find these online on eBay for uh, like a fraction of its original price under a hundred dollars. And when I started using this camera and I imported the files, I found that the images are incredible. They have such beautiful colors. They, they have just this wonderful filmic looking color. I know that's cliche, but it just has this really nice warm tones to it. It's hard to explain, but it's, it, it has this very smooth transition with the noise and it just blends in so well. And if you're asking, um, this camera has 7.1 megapixels and you can tell that because it says it right, right there. But the thing is when you import the photos in the computer and you keep zooming in, it doesn't look like 7.1 megapixels it looks like something with like twice as much like 14 or even 16 megapixels so let's talk a little bit about the specs of the canon a710 so this has 7.1 megapixels as you already know and it has a six times magnification optical zoom and it even has image stabilization. It works very, very well, especially when you're zoomed in at six times. It has a range of, what does it say here? 5.8 to 34 millimeters at f 2.8 to 4.8 aperture. This camera has a LCD screen in the back and it's actually pretty nice. Uh, you can see, you can have live view on it and all that. And as you can see here, it even has a viewfinder, which is awesome. Um, it doesn't really show that much information in the viewfinder. Honestly, it doesn't show any information at all. But what the cool thing is, is that when you zoom, it zooms in with the lens. So that's pretty cool, but it's really small. I barely use it. I mostly use the, the back screen. It does the job. So another thing that uh, this camera has is it has a lot of the professional features that you expect in like the SLRs. Keep in mind, this it was considered a enthusiast grade point and shoot. So it has all of the manual controls. You can control the aperture, you can control the shutter speed, you can control the ISO, you can control everything on this camera. It even has, you know, the basic uh, portrait and uh, landscape and sports, but who really uses those? Some of you might think that a 2006 old camera is outdated and it's not relevant anymore. And I'm here to tell you that some of the features may feel outdated and some of the downfalls of it being an old camera is that it has an old sensor. It has a CCD sensor, not a CMOS, which is found in pretty much, or well, pretty much, 
in all of the digital cameras today, and especially in uh, the smartphones. But the thing is, a CCD sensor produces colors unlike what a CMOS sensor does. That's where those filmic colors come in. Another thing that is a disadvantage with having an old sensor in an old body is that the ISO range is not really that wide and low light performance is not really that great. But apart from all of those downfalls, the Canon A710 is a fantastic camera. I have been using this all of 2023. Honestly, this has easily become my everyday camera. I keep it with me at all times. And it has just such a great build quality. Like all of this, all of all of the front here is metal. It has a really good, like chunky grip. And it takes, oh, really, really cool thing. It takes AA batteries. So you just buy yourself some, you just buy yourself some rechargeable batteries. And there you go. You have some good, Another thing you might be asking is 7.1 megapixels is not that much. But the thing is, most of the photos that you post online gets compressed so much, especially on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all, all of that. And 7.1 megapixels is actually not as small as you think. To put in reference, a 1080p resolution is two megapixels. A 4K is eight megapixels. And this is 7 megapixels, so it's pretty much almost 4K resolution, which can fill a huge, huge screen. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that when you zoom into the photos at 100%, the resolution just doesn't give in. It just looks good. It just keeps looking good as if you're looking at a photo printed on a paper. Another thing that I did with the Canon A710 is I installed a software where it unlocked a bunch of features. It's called CHDK. And just to summarize it, pretty much it just unlocks many interesting features, but what's most important of all is that it allows me to shoot raw on this. So yes, out of the box, you cannot shoot raw in this camera, but with it being a, such an old camera and today being, you know, the 21st century, people have tinkered with this camera and hacked it and done all the stuff. And pretty much with that, they unlocked a bunch of features that this camera wasn't initially uh, released with. But after installing that software, I realized that this camera is so much more powerful than I initially thought. So to conclude, the Canon A710, beautiful camera, beautiful, wonderful tool, wonderful, and just an amazing everyday camera. Amazing. And I think that a lesson that I learned from this is that you don't need the latest and greatest tools. Yes, gear doesn't matter and all that, but really it's just learning how to use the tool that you have makes all the difference. Like this is a camera that came out in 2006 they don't they don't sell this anymore but you can find them pretty much anywhere online if you're lucky enough you'll find one at a local thrift store so i took this camera on a trip last summer to uh halifax which is in the maritimes and i'm going to share you guys some photos that i captured with this camera you'll see exactly what i mean by this camera shooting out some filmic photos and just the colors just pay attention to the colors of it and i'll also zoom in so you can see exactly what i mean by the details just not giving in
So I'll leave you with this. Go out there and shoot with whatever tool you have, with whatever camera that you have, because it doesn't really matter how many megapixels the camera has. It doesn't matter if it has fast autofocus. You don't need a, an expensive camera to make great photos. You don't need the latest and greatest of the tools to make great work. You can use any camera that you have. You can even use your phone, but I want you to just go out there and start making photos. This camera is something that I could have found anywhere. I could have found in a, in a closet or something, or your, your parents might even have this camera. But when I started to really tinker with it, when I started to really appreciate the tool itself and I started to learn it, that's when I realized that this camera is actually a gem. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and follow me on Instagram at just Steve. And remember, beauty is everywhere and you just need to point and shoot.